Cancer Rising's July 2023 looks like a month filled with financial changes and adjustments, and also an important relationship coming to a close. If you're ready to dive into what exactly to expect this July for you and your rising sign, make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so that you are always up to date with what the stars have in store for you. If you're new here, hi, I'm Marin. I am at Western Astrologer using the Tropical Zodiac and Whole Sign Houses for these videos. And if you like what you're seeing, I do offer exclusive content and courses at Passes linked down below, as well as private readings if you want a one-on-one -on -one with me also linked below. So from the 1st to the 2nd, Jupiter in your 11th house is going to sextile the sun and mercury in your first house. Looks like with Jupiter in your 11th, you're more extroverted, you're meeting new people and networking with others in a really positive way over the past few months and continuing on. And this is allowing for opportunities related to yourself, uh, self-promoting, like opportunities. It's unlocking the ability for you to actualize goals directly based on your identity and who you are. Now, from the 1st to the 9th and the whole first part of the month, Venus will conjoin Mars in your Leo second house. Venus and Mars and Leo together is very dramatic, very flamboyant, very performative, and very larger than life. And with it in your second house of income, looks like you could be thinking of a new income stream or way of making money that is particularly dramatic, fun, extra, all the things. Now on the third, there is a full moon in your Capricorn seventh house. And with full moons being times of endings or chapters that are completing, and the seventh house being important relationships, it looks like either there is an important relationship that is Inspiring and it's no longer like contractually relevant or you and your partner are celebrating a milestone of some kind that is coming to an end. This doesn't look like a particularly bad or chaotic full moon, so I don't think that for many of you it'll show a breakup necessarily, but some kind of relationship, be it a legal one, maybe coming to a close, or you and your partner are ending a certain part of your relationship. Now on the 10th, Mars will enter your Virgo third house. Mars being the planet of aggression and resolving conflict will be in your third house of writing, productivity, content, creating things logistically daily, which shows that you could be having a lot more on your plate with day-to-day -day tasks, content, and writing. And also on the 10th, Mercury will enter your Leo second house, which shows that you're talking more and expressing more interest in your money, making money, creating a plan around that, marketing it. On the 17th, there is a new moon in your Cancer first house. And having a new moon in your first house, particularly this one, shows a stark new beginning around your identity, you getting more attention, you embarking on something physical even that you want to change around yourself. You are the main character here as it is cancer season for a lot of this month. Then on the 17th, Jupiter will square Mercury between your 11th and 2nd houses, showing that the expansion and the opening up of your reach socially to other people is allowing you to make more money basically um, and talk about it a little bit more. Now on the 22nd, Leo season starts and the sun also joins the other planets in your second house of income and spending so financially, that's a big focus. But on the 22nd, Venus will station retrograde in your second house, which shows that as there's more attention, progress, and growth financially, you're now reconsidering your values, your spending, your budgeting, and how you're setting yourself up as we go on. On the 26th, Venus retrograde will conjoin Mercury in your second house, showing that you're verbalizing, communicating, or announcing some of these changes that you're making financially. And on the 31st, finally, Jupiter will try Mars between your 11th and 3rd houses, showing that the social connections that you're making are allowing you to have really awesome progress in your writing, your content, and what you're putting out into the world because socially that's where you're expanding the most in your chart and that's really assisting you in the productivity things that are going on too. If you have any thoughts, predictions, or things that you want to share for this July coming up for your sign, make sure that you comment below and let me know how you're feeling and uh, predicting what's going to happen here. The Oracle Deck Astrology card that we have for Cancer Rising this month is Mutable, Adjust, Bring, Transition, and Learn. So the mutable signs are the signs that change, are flexible, and teach us how to be adaptable. So with that coming up, it's showing that this is a month to be adaptable, to be okay with change, and to pivot when needed. If you enjoy this, please make sure to like, subscribe, share, do all the things. It helps out in the algorithm. Otherwise, I wish you an amazing July. I hope that you really enjoy all this Leo energy, and I will see you next month in August, the best, the best month of the year. <laughs>